What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about some holster fitment. This is mainly in the waistband um, for everyday carry and I wanted to talk about a couple things. So um, in front of me have a couple different um, options of stuff as far as different firearms and I'm going to have a couple different holsters and I'm going to talk about how they all operate and what my thoughts are on them and what I would tell you as far as you know what would be a smart decision for everyday carry and so on and so forth so um, we'll start out with my M18 I haven't showed that on the channel yet but we will start there and I will kind of uh, work my way from left to right and we'll talk about it all at the end so this is my mm -hmm. M18 uh, setup that I have. I haven't brought this to the channel yet. We'll do a complete uh, breakdown of my M18 in the future, but that will be obviously to come. That is not the point of this video, so um, just bear with me. So when you get into looking at holsters, everything looks cool. There's a lot of different ones that you can pick. How, who, what brand do you go with? Um, I'm really kicking myself now because I have had probably 10 or 15 different holsters and I've really disliked a lot of them and I've either sold them or I have, um, there's been a couple I've flat out thrown away because I just don't want to resell them. So, um, and that is something that obviously this piece of plastic, um, or Kydex, whatever terminology you want to use is essentially what holds the very thing that could save your life. So I really do like um, I guess I'm going to start out. This is my favorite. So these are works holsters. As you can see, they're spelled with a Z. So you can find them. Uh, I believe it's works customs. Um, I will put a comment and the comment will have the link to the website. I have bought now, um, I think four or five different holsters from them. And these are by far my favorite. And I'm going to tell you why, um, primarily the quality. So the actual, it's a very thin, lightweight piece of Kydex. They put this really, really nice finish on it. So it's really easy to get in and out. This is the toughest clip that I've had by far. Um, and it has a really good, I like, let me see if I can turn it around. Not sure if you can see that, trying to get the light to a line here, but oh, let me see if I can twist this a little bit. So this angle that they put that at is it's steep enough to retain on your belt, but it's not horrid enough to where when you're trying to get it off, it gets stuck. So a very sure on and off, and it's very, very, um, it stays in place. That's not my worry, um, but it's definitely very easy to maneuver. Now, my understanding is you can tie these into like a mag pouch holster. Again, this is my just an everyday carry, so... Um, I typically don't carry a magazine in the on the waistband. Um, that's just me. Uh, I think it's more realistic, and I know a couple other you know gun uh, content creators uh, carry you know extra magazines stuff like that in their pocket um, and things like that. You know, but that's obviously not the point of today's talk. Um, so all in all, you can see this is a very, very nice, nice holster. They really do it really, really nice. Obviously, the gun's been safety checked. Uh, another thing that I like is it comes with the wing. It's um, a very precise fit. And then also for this gun, since it is pretty lightweight, um, I do have a gas pedal on here. And um, just helps me again with the recoil. Um, especially with this gun being very light as opposed to like the X5 or my Spectre Comp. Um, the issue obviously is going to be recoil. So I like that on there. I've actually put about 4,500 rounds through this and um, I will do a video to follow up on this one, kind of do a breakdown of everything that I've done to it and um, so on and so forth. But again, for this video, this is just a everyday carry setup that I really like. Um, this is something I wear more in the winter. It's a, it's not very hard. The, this holster with the wing makes it very easy for my body type to conceal it. So I do carry it in the winter and it is nice with how light it is. It's, you know, I could carry it for a long time. And, um, for some reason, the proportionates of this just feel more natural and more comfortable than anything else that, um, I have carried, um, other than, um, the next gun we're going to talk about next. So, um, this for this size has been my favorite. I do like it. 
the Wilson Combat makes it really nice because this is soft, so against your body, um, it doesn't, you know, scar you up. And then this is rough, so it's really, really good. So that way you're not having to completely always reposition yourself and 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 do that. So um, now when I start going in and out of the holsters, it might um, start. You know, I've noticed my audio tends to go in and out whenever I make a lot of noise, and I think that it's just my GoPro trying to re. Um, reduce the background noise. I don't know how to do that. So if it starts to make a ton of noise, um, I will, you know, split this video just so that way um, I can do a voiceover so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and I can talk about these things um, so you guys can understand that. Okay, guys. So here I have the um, fitment there. So just showing you how uh, the retention is really nice. No up and down, no sloppiness at all. Um, shaking around a little bit. And then as far as the precise cut, it clears the magazine release button really well. The cutout and um, fitment around the optic there. The buttons still function. The inside, so you can see the gas pedal is there. And it actually has a divot in there um, where it precisely fits, locks in. The front has just a tiny bit of overhang and is really nice flush cut. The wing is very nice, has some nice retention, and just overall great fitment. This is a um, more of a micro nine, and this is something more that I carry. Um, you know, whenever uh, it's super hot, I just have a t-shirt, whatever. This is just a um, a more concealable. This is my like ultimate concealability carry, and um, so I wanted to talk about a couple things now. Since this does not have a weapon light on it, the moldings that you're going to get from average holsters are going to be a little bit more, not a little bit, exactly a lot more true. Um, so it's going to be, you're, you're a little bit more lenient if you're just carrying a gun without a light, I've noticed. So, and that's really where you want to be careful with. So I wanted to specifically put this one into the video because of how well um this works so this is just a um holster that i bought off of amazon funny enough and i just kind of bought it temporarily while i was looking shopping at what my holster was going to be for this like indefinitely and i've just been so pleased with it i don't see the need for me to buy another one so this holster i think i only paid 30 some dollars for and it's fantastic again the angle the angle that the clip is, is very easy to get on and off. I have noticed this plastic is definitely a lot easier to bend. So this one's e the easiest to come off. However, it does have that divot. So it doesn't come off when it's uh, actually hooked onto your belt. Um, it does come with a wing already. You don't have to purchase that. Uh, it's got a funky name, Gun and Flower. Again, I bought this off Amazon, but it works really, really well. So I'm going to show you that. Um, and, uh, you can, um, get your own, you know, thoughts for yourself. But so I've, I've now had this holster, uh, three and a half, four months. And I'm, you know, it's, you know, firearms going in and out every single day. It's got very minimal wear, um, on the outside and on the inside. Not really sure if you can see that. Um, but it's held up pretty good. I mean, for the money, I mean, I just, I was very shocked that I still have this because I've had a lot of you know customizable holsters and cheaper holsters and things like that and not necessarily money wise but just in quality and this one doesn't feel as nice as the works custom holster the other one definitely feels a little bit um nicer material but this one i mean for the money i think this is definitely the best one that you can get um and they offer their holsters for a variety of handguns so if you have a little you know con uh, micro nine they probably have a holster for the gun and it's super cheap to carry uh, super cheap to buy them and they're actually a fantastic fit so now we'll um, break off into the fitting portion um, so and again i'll go back to doing a voiceover okay so here we're going to check the lock-in which is very nice um, very 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 little wiggle um, pretty similar to the works uh, they close off the end which i like uh, it doesn't really bother me either way but um, you can see it's cut very well to um, kind of mirror the shape of the gun again in and out on this for the price is really nice very nice audible clicks the cut around the trigger guard is amazing as well 
um, all in all, a very, very nice fit. Okay, guys. So lastly, uh, for today's video, I wanted to include this holster itself. So this is a holster that I got custom done. I really liked. Um, kind of a big fan of the uh, the God of War, um, you know, Greek mythology stuff. So just with the kind of the Spartan finish, I really, really liked uh, the idea of this. Um, and so I bought it. So don't want to really, you know, badmouth anybody's name or anything like that. And I don't think it's a terrible holster. That's not what I'm getting at. But it's just a couple things that I wanted to talk about. So um, for someone who this is their first holster, I 150% do not recommend this holster. And here's why. Uh, so to begin, um, there was uh, some custom fitment that I had to do to it. And I have noticed I didn't change. So initially it comes with one of these drilled in. I think it's this top one. And they just have it so this kind of moves back and forth because it's only got one area of retention it doesn't have both so as you can see i had to add this one that's the only um seal that i had or i guess spacer rubber spacer and so this one i actually i trimmed down the spacer so that way because essentially they were buttoned into one another and i couldn't fit both the screws in now another thing that's really odd about this setup is that you can see this one has a locking mechanism this one is a double-sided screw and i don't know why they did it that way so i understand the idea behind it but i think longevity this won't hold up at all and another thing you can see is i, I obviously i had to drill in the second hole and be very precise so i didn't screw it up and you know ruin the holster um, I thought about sending it back, but, you know, I'm pretty, uh, I've messed with a lot of different things, you know, as far as like um, any sort of like altering, like, uh, you know, fitment and stuff like that. So I felt comfortable enough to do it, but I don't recommend that, you know, just the average consumer runs out and does that. I think it's very bad. And you can see um, if I hold it straight, this protrudes a little bit more, which is a, just more of an OCD thing for me, but it's still just not what you would expect out of a holster that you know they have tons of different configurations everything like that i feel like the fitment here is just not what it could be and then the fact that i had to add my own spare screw and um it might have been their screw they gave me i'm, I'm not really entirely sure i don't 100 percent remember but i'm pretty sure that's mine because it's different from the other ones if you look the two screws are the same and the other one is different so and it tightens the wing on the top and then the back one adjusts the retention so you have one screw to adjust retention two to hold the claw it's very very strange it is a very strange i for that reason i don't like it the fitment is off and um it's worn in quite a bit it's really hard to see because the actual inside is white um, but this has worn off a little bit and you can kind of see some of the edges on here are just kind of rough. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well in the, in the, in the camera, but I'm telling you, it's just not all that well put together. Um, this has a really, really steep, as you can see, claw to hold your belt, but it sucks to take this off. And then it doesn't move very much. Like it's very stiff and this has a lot of flex in it. So I don't know long-term how well this will hold up. This is just a, a range um, holster. Um, you know, something like, you know, I don't know, just every once in a while, like you outside and you have a holster or whatever. Um, you know, it's just, just an afterthought. I really wanted this holster, but it was pretty cool. I considered it maybe as like a last resort in the waistband carry, but I'm just not very confident in this thing. I think if you put any level of extreme pressure on this with the rickety um, kind of double-sided screw stuff that they have going on here, I don't think this will hold up really well. So, but that's just my opinion. Um, and, you know, these, you know, luckily they had, you know, 25% off. Had it not been 25% off, I literally would have paid the same price I would have for my works holster, which I love. And I've dropped those um, holsters and kind of beat them up and they just work out really well. You know, I don't really care. You know, I 
you know, once once they're once I put the the firearm up in my safe, I'll just you know toss them whatever. I mean, they're really really heavy duty, and this one I just don't get the same feel from it. It, it just feels completely different. Um, so enough about that. Let's move into how it seats, uh, how the gun seats inside of it, and kind of talk about um, you know stuff in my voiceover. Okay, guys. So here we're tracking the fitment. So as you can see, in and out, it kind of gets hung up a little bit going in. There is a ton of side by side play. And that's very disappointing considering how much I torqued down that retention screw. Uh, it won't go down anymore. I'm sure I would strip it if that was the case. Uh, it also rubs against the top of the magazine release, which is another pet peeve for me. Um, and the release going slowly or without excessive force is just not any really good in my personal opinion. Um, for those reasons, you can also see they didn't blend it very well. I'm just not very impressed. The overhang and the amount of extra material at the end is also something i'm very unhappy with so here it is again coming out and you can just see the fitment is very very uh not good in my opinion so and some more wiggle so this concludes it for today's video um and that's kind of why i just wanted to bring a couple different options to the table so a cheap but really really awesome and surprising option um something that wasn't necessarily cheap but out of the three had the most amount of wiggle room, the least smooth in and out I've seen, um, the most required alteration, and precisely the, the not the best, of, you know, the worst shipment out of the three um, for the same price, uh, you know, double this cost, and, you know, right around the same price as this guy. Um, this is my favorite just because of the quality, the um, options it has, the wing definitely feels um, like it's the most sturdy and the retention is the best on that one by far. Um, that's also another thing I had to, um, you know, really, really torque the tension down on this one. I know I didn't mention that. Um, but this one just, it's just something about it. So take whatever you guys will from the video. I just wanted to offer some insight on some holsters. If you're new to holsters and you don't know which one to get, again, works is my favorite. Uh, this one came from, uh, Amazon, but it's, you know, I guess this one for the price, this is my favorite overall quality would be this one. This one, you make your decision if you want to buy that, but that concludes today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We have had, um, you know, the, the channel has tripled, um, in the last month. I can't thank you guys enough. And if there's anything else that you guys want to see, um, on any of these, um, holsters, please stay tuned. Um, and we will go from there. So next week, I want to talk about my M18 since I guess I gave it a, a little bit of a running head start this week by putting it in the video. I will do a full breakdown of that, talk about um, what I've seen, moderately high round counts that it's been through, um, and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, and again, be sure to like and subscribe.